spacer. He's carving up a wooden spike. Yeah. He's, right He's making spikes. I understand. Making spikes. Oh, nice. Good roll. So, is this oak then? Yeah, it's oak. Yeah, it's um, every log is it's, it's pine. There was no spruce in this part of Norway. And then there's no spruce now, roughly. So the logs are always fine, and uh, those pegs are almost always uh, open. Uh, I think they use a lot of branches, and uh, people in the district just did it on uh, like a side. There's the... Um, there's a uh, documentation from an um, accountant from the, one of the buildings. They ordered 3,000 oak pegs. So there was an industry around the area around Bergen to make pegs. Probably maybe kids and they're sitting around making those. Yeah. All right, Steve Basic Architect. Yeah, we're continuing that tour in downtown Bergen, Norway. So we made it up to the second floor. And uh, first thing, notice there's those big steel beams that we talked about step out of the way here and you can see they're connected to that jacking system we talked about it how they jack up the floor you can see how that all is put together but then they have this kind of double wood beam with a threaded rod and that's what goes down and that's what's holding up the floor beam below and so it's a very intricate uh, maze of beams the amount of effort going in to resurrecting this building is absolutely incredible now, i know for some people it's like yeah just tear the damn thing down throw it in a dumpster but 300 year old buildings it's hard to uh just take those down you can see there so they're able to adjust and put that anywhere and then they put these cross beams in and then the cross beams have a threaded rod and kind of a big anchor system there so they can rehab it it's uh yeah pretty like i said pretty elaborate network here and uh, just bear with me as I step over all of this system and go see what else we can find. So we're in that space, the hallway above. You can see. Just very cool. So yeah, these logs were set here over 300 years ago, and they were probably cut from trees that were four or 500 years old. So absolutely incredible. And, uh, I'm just amazed. You can see how those joints, see how the middle part is high, so they, Pretty much, it's the two edges that get kind of overcut. So those are what is bearing, and that's how you get those nice, tightly fitted joints in there. And then, of course, wood beams are all let in up above. Absolutely incredible. And some of these are, you know, it's kind of like New England. You uh, get a bunch of logs and maybe some of them were cut to a mistake or whatever and then they were pinned together and make the joist. But, uh, yeah, and you can see there's the elaborate maze of steel beams there. 
absolutely incredible. I know I keep saying that. But... You know, you can't help but wonder, you know, some time ago in the 300 year story, somebody carved that piece of wood to do some kind of work. I have no idea what or why, but uh, just did a beautiful job. You can see there's another one. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a total mess, but there is some uh, organization to this chaos. There's a stairway that goes up to yet another floor. I uh, apologize for some of the camera work. I'm, I've got my 160 pound frame walking. <coughs> <coughs> on floors I can see through so <coughs> there is a little skepticism about each and every step <coughs> can't go up there but that is the roof of the project you can see the whole series of boards thinner boards there I'm just you know amazed I love I love old buildings I can't say I would want to live in one, but and then maybe it's not even that I love old buildings. I love the story of old buildings. It's like, you know, when you look at this joinery and how this building was put together, you know, I always find myself asking, did the guy that chiseled and hatched each one of these joints did he realize that somebody would be here with a video kit 300 years from the day he put this together to shoot a video of his work? Anyways, that's it for the second floor tour. I'm Steve Basic Architect. Until next time, you know it. Long live our buildings.